to enter the monthly giveaway, subscribe to TechID and press the bell icon to never miss an update. A uh, human eye can see up to a 576 megapixel image. Well, your phone probably has a 12 megapixel camera. Even if you have a 108 megapixel one, you might be wondering, a smartphone camera can never see as much as your eye. Well, we've already seen the likes of 48, 64 or 108 megapixel cameras in a lot of phones. But the jump from 12 or 13 megapixels to 48 or 64 megapixels, the difference didn't seem very significant to be honest. But a jump to 600 megapixel will be really something exciting to watch out for. And this is not just a fancy dream anymore guys, Samsung has officially announced that they are working in fact to build something exactly like this. I mean a 600 megapixel camera module that can be used on a smartphone, drone or in fact any IO devices. Mind you, Samsung was the first manufacturer to introduce a 64 megapixel camera sensor and a 108 megapixel camera sensor in the smartphone industry. Yongging Perk, the head of the senior business team of Samsung, said they are in fact aiming to build a 600 megapixel camera sensor that can capture more detail than a human eye. Now before we talk about possibilities, let's talk about problems. As you can see here guys, in very simple terms, the higher the megapixel, the larger the image sensor. So with the current technology available, if Samsung tries to make a 600 megapixel camera sensor, the sensor will be so huge in size that it'll probably not fit inside a smartphone body. So to achieve a smaller size 600 megapixel sensor, Samsung will have to actually reduce the individual pixel size inside the 600 megapixel sensor. But smaller the size of the pixel, lesser the light it receives. That means very noisy performance in low light, which is something nobody wants. So how do they deal with this? Yes, pixel binning, which we have already seen in S20 Ultra or some other Xiaomi phones. The S20 Ultra used a 3x3 pixel binning, which means every 9 pixel was converted into one super pixel. That results in a bigger effective pixel size of 2.4 micron. And finally, a 108 megapixel input gives a very good quality 12 megapixel output. Samsung is very likely to use the same technology for the 600 megapixel sensor, not to mention that it's going to be very hard to achieve. For example, if Samsung manages to use 5x5 pixel binning, 25 pixels will be converted into one super pixel, which eventually will result the 600 megapixel input into a very good 24 megapixel output. We can already imagine the ridiculous amount of data the sensor will be able to capture is insane. If we talk more about possibilities, cropping an image will lead to lose no or very less quality as the size of the pixels are actually smaller. And there can be many more benefits from the camera module, which is hard to predict right now. So when can we expect this based in the market? Well, Samsung hasn't officially announced anything about that yet, but it is pretty safe to say that it will take at least 2021 or maybe a little bit more. As you can already guess, it's not gonna be an easy task. Well, some of you nerds are going to be complaining now that megapixels count doesn't really matter and these are just crazy marketing terms. Well, that's not completely true. Yes, more megapixels certainly doesn't mean better quality photos. But if you look at the current trend, from mid-range to flagship, almost every phone has started to use the 48 or 64 megapixel cameras. And a 600 megapixel camera? That is going to be insane. Now, before ending this video, I'm going to leave a question to all of you guys. So what do you think of the size of the image taken from a 600 megapixel camera? Leave a comment down below in the comment section and when the camera actually releases, we will check out the comments and it's gonna be pretty fun. So let's see who can guess it close. So that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. Ashakuri, Avro Dekha